Hey folks, it's Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. I'm having trouble with my 2000 Dodge Ram 2500 5.9 liter 24 valve Cummings diesel pickup truck. I'm going to take you around today. I'm going to show you what the problem is and I need some mechanical advice. I know there are guys out there that know these trucks up and down, so I need your advice. We're going to use a diagnostic tool right here. I'll tell you all about it here in just a minute. It's vibrating, it's shaking when I'm going down the road. So come along on the farm vlog today and help me troubleshoot my Dodge Ram Cummins diesel vibration problem. It's just shaking like crazy. So come on, let's have some fun. Teach me, I need your help. Woo! Stony Ridge, from Stony Ridge, Stony Ridge Farm. So folks, what we have here is a bone stock 2000 model Cummins diesel Dodge Ram 2500 four wheel drive pickup truck. I've had it for about two years now. It's my baby. It has less than 130,000 miles on this pickup truck. That thing is barely broken in. That's the million mile engine, I guess they call it, that 24 valve Cummins diesel. But I'm not having engine troubles. I'm having vibration drivetrain troubles. So I've got my GoPro here and a little mount that I'm gonna figure out a way to mount it to that Nerf bar or whatever you call that step bar right there. And I've got a pretty sneaking suspicion that underneath here, there's gonna be a vibrating or a shaking drive shaft. As I drive, when I accelerate, I experience hardly any vibration. As I go to slow down, I feel it. And I'm gonna do my best to set the camera right down on the floorboard so you can experience the vibration also. There evidently is a spot where the drive shaft goes through a rubber, I don't know what you call it, like a dampener or a, or a bushing of some sort. There's a spot down there where it goes through that rubber bushing and there's a tiny bit of play on it. So first we're gonna climb up underneath the truck and I'm gonna show you. This all started after a snowstorm. So we had a big snowstorm and I drove the Cummins in the snow back and forth to work a couple times. And that's about yeah, a 45, 50 minute drive in the snow. After that, I drove on the highway and I felt this vibration. I have several suspicions. I changed both pumpkins. I changed the oil on both pumpkins and checked those out, both rear and front diffs. Everything looked good. The transmission has been serviced. I don't think it's the transmission. I put it in neutral while we're coasting down a hill or coasting on the highway. Still had the same vibration. When I put it back in gear and I accelerate, it decreases the vibration, which leads me to think it's this bushing. We're gonna get under the truck. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And we also have an exhaust problem that I didn't know until I got under the truck the other day. So I'll show you that too. And then we'll take off out on the road and we'll see where this vibration's coming from. Sometimes it feels like it's right under the driver's seat. Could it be the transfer case? I don't know. Let's go underneath here and I'll show you. <laughs> oh, my benders don't bend quite like they used to. <laughs> Gently maneuvering my chubby self underneath my wonderful truck and you'll see this thing is so so clean underneath oh, let's get back here all right so my area of suspicion is right here there is a rubber bushing of or bearing of some sort in this piece hopefully you can see it we'll get some light here there we go so hear it it's shaking up and down ever so slightly right there not really that bad. All of my CV joints, which this is one of my CV joints, they all appear to be very tight. So there's a CV joint here. There's another one in the middle right here, and it appears to be very tight. And then there's a CV joint all the way back there at the axle, and it is tight as it can be too. I would think if I got underneath here and I shook it around that I would hear some clinking and clanking, but I don't hear any clinking and clanking, which leads me to wonder, is it my transmission? I don't think so. I don't think so. This is my little suspect critter. And let me shake it again for you here. That's my suspect critter. So we're going to point the camera right to that thing. And we're also going to point the camera to the CV joints and see if anything's vibrating oddly. Let's get the GoPro. This is a Hero 4 GoPro. And this is a mounting bracket. Hopefully I can figure out how to work it. There's gotta be something on here that I can attach it to. And basically this is like a roll bar mounting bracket. I think I'll find something underneath here. Biggest thing is we don't lose the GoPro on our little road trip here. Getting down to business. Man, 
All right. Oh, come on, dude. Gotta be a better way than this. We really wanna film the entire drive shaft all the way back. So what would be ideal is to mount it uh, right here. There really isn't as much to mount to under here as I thought there would be. But we're gonna figure something out. Mm, that might work. That sucks. Hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Oh, this is gonna be tougher than I thought. I'll try this little spot right here. Dude, getting on my nerves. Oh, good. Oh, we gotta rethink this. There's gotta be a better way I can strap this thing on here. We gotta beat this rainstorm. Here's what I'm gonna use. It's a strap device. I'm gonna strap it around the drive shaft area where the drive shaft meets the transmission. The snow and the rain starting. Let's get busy. Get her done. Very beautiful. Get in there. There we go. That should be beautiful. That's recording. Let's see how she looks. I gotta get back here behind her. Let's see if I got a view that I want. Oh, it's a little dark, isn't it? Oh, you turd. The stupid mountain broke. Be my friend. Be my friend. Get back in there. Get back. Good lord. Please. Mm -hmm. Help me, baby. Dang it. Dude, I had it totally perfect, and then this thing broke. Oh, let's fix it. GoPro. One more time. Right there it is. Who loves Velcro? I love Velcro. I love grease in my eye. Back there. Is where we're looking for vibrations and here okay should be right and tight here so we're strapped onto what i think you'd call the yoke of the transmission and we're gonna fire up the diesel here and take it for a drive see what you think it's gonna be interesting troubleshooting i've never troubleshot any kind of mechanical problem with a gopro before so it should be fun camera down oh yeah all right let her purr for a minute. So the other mechanical problem I was having is that the exhaust is you know, 18, 19 years old and finally the tailpipe has started to let go. So something else we've got to address. I think I'm gonna have this thing taken in and do an all stainless steel exhaust. This is a vehicle that I plan on keeping until I die. For those of you who have never been to the channel here, this is Stony Ridge Farmer Channel and we do farm videos. And we do a little bit of everything that goes along with farming and then some more. We take trips off the farm and see other farms and show you what it takes to actually get a farm operation up and started, up and running. Right now I'm pushing the button on my Mighty Mule gate opener and it's not working. So now I've got to walk all the way around and push the keypad to open the gate. The gods are against me. If you guys are thinking about getting an automatic farm gate opener, Mighty Mule makes a nice one. This is the Mighty Mule 350. The upgraded version, I believe, is the Mighty Mule 360. And as you can see, this is a 16-foot gate, and it's opening it up just fine. Only troubles I've had is when it's really, really cold. If it's below about 25 degrees, the gate doesn't like to work properly. So as long as you keep your batteries changed in your gate remote, you'll be all right. So what I was getting at before I got sidetracked about the gate, guys, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome to the channel. Click that little subscribe button. You can watch our farm grow. It's a great place to be. We'll be doing all sorts of little mechanical projects and chicken projects and goats and pigs and cows and all kinds of fun stuff. So this will be a working farm and you'll get to see how it all works. And this kind of stuff, mechanical stuff and fun stuff. So. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel right now. Click it, boom, click it, pow. We live on a dirt road and we're up here to the blacktop. I'm gonna get out and double check my camera placement. Right there's our GoPro. That's what we're watching. Might as well take it back here and show you the exhaust problem I'm having. I noticed this guy is it, it, <laughs> flopping around loose. It's come loose from the muffler back there. See that hole? I think a nice stainless exhaust system would make this thing sound so awesome. Nice, big, fat, throaty one. So let's take off here. So no vibration at this moment, but when I top this little hill up here, right here, I let off the gas, and you may be able to hear it and you may not. I may switch microphones right now, okay? All right, cruising down a hill here, and it really, really shows its face when we pull up to a stop sign and we slow to almost stop.
so as we slow to a stop you get a really really heavy vibration now I'm gonna go down another country road here all this stuff there's no traffic out here we're way out in the country so any traffic comes by the camera goes down and I pay attention to what I'm doing just FYI guys I'm a responsible adult leave me a comment down there tell me what you think it is I've let off the gas now and we're coasting down a hill and it seems to be worse at about 30 miles an hour slow down So at about 15 miles an hour, it really did it. Hopefully, you guys will get a good view of what's really going on underneath here with this GoPro camera. I don't think it's in the rear end. It's, it's in the center. It's in the middle of the truck somewhere. We're going to double check our GoPro one more time here, okay? <laughs> what a nice place to live. Like two people stopped while I was looking underneath the truck to ask me if I was okay and if I needed any help. That's so cool. So here's the deal, if we're unable to tell with the GoPro, I want your guys' opinion still. I want to know if you're a mechanic, if you're a diesel mechanic, if you work on these Cummins trucks, or if you own uh, an older Dodge like this, is this a problem you've experienced? Is this something that uh, that's going to be a very simple fix? What do I have going on? The transmission is shifting like a dream. There's no issues there. The bigger issue is a vibration, and it's really, really prominent when I slow down to about 20 miles an hour. It's a rhythmic vibration okay so that's what I need help with folks that's what it is that's what today's vlog is all about we got to figure out what the heck is wrong with the Cummins diesel truck here this is my baby I love to drive it but I don't want to drive it and tear it up I'm getting a, a strong vibration in the floorboard a rhythmic vibration like a especially when I'm slowing down if I speed up if I hit the gas Things tighten up and it seems like it doesn't hardly even vibrate, but the truck is so darn loud that I really can't tell. As I drift down a hill at about 50 miles an hour, the vibration becomes faster and more rhythmic. As I slow down, it's almost as if I had great big mud tires with big old cleats on them. You know, when you pull up to a stop sign, you kind of uh, shake a little bit. So. I don't know. We thought it was a tire at first. I thought, well, maybe I had a belt blown in one of my old tires. So we got new tires for it. We checked all the wheel bearings. When we put new tires on it, everything was smooth as silk. So it's got to be a drive shaft issue. Hopefully the drive shaft's not out of balance. If it is, guys, post me something down there. Tell me what to do. If my drive shaft, maybe the snow or a rock popped up and knocked something out of whack or knocked the weight off the drive shaft. But tell me, tell me what you think. Okay, thanks a lot for coming guys. I appreciate you. Please click that like button. Take the time to do that. Click that like button. Leave me some comments down there. Tell me what you think it is. If you're a mechanic, if you uh, give me a little bit of advice, give me a little bit of background on you. Tell me what you do. And if you own one of these old Dodge trucks or, you know, I guess this could happen on a Ford or, or any large truck, you know, any three quarter ton, one ton pickup truck. Getting a bad vibration. Not good vibrations. Not fun. Not happy. Thanks a lot guys. Help me fix my unicorn. We'll talk to you soon. Come on back and see me here on the Stony Ridge Farm. Springtime's here. We're going to have some fun on the farm. All right? Woo! Land of the free and the home of the brave. I'm proud of who I am and I'm proud of what I made on the Stony Ridge. Woo! <laughs> Before I end the video, folks have been asking for a walk around and talk about this truck. So I know you guys have seen it in videos. You've seen it. You've seen the hundred dollar truck and I've talked to you and walked you around it. Well, let's walk around the Cummins diesel. This is a 2000 model Dodge Ram. Very nice truck. Very nice leather package, Laramie package. It has the wood grain dash, uh, heated seats. I have a dash mat on here because I had a little crack starting over here. So we went on and just covered it up. That's a telephone mount right there. And everything's just clean as a whistle on this truck. Just not a speck of rust even thinking about getting on this truck anywhere. Beautiful, beautiful truck. Just put some new tires on it. New Hancock tires. Clean Carfax. Everything on this truck has just been clean as a whistle. Couldn't ask for a better vehicle, especially for a farm. 
especially with these low miles. It has about 130,000 miles on it. I bought it with about 120. So let's crack the hood. So far, the only thing I've really had to do to this truck is I serviced everything. I changed the fluids out and everything just to make sure it had fresh fluids in. And I've done two oil changes and I bought a nice k and air filter kit. Let's show you under the hood. Still pretty clean. I haven't washed it or anything. When I bought it at the dealership, they didn't even run it through detail. This was the boss man's truck right here. Got a few things I need to address right there. But this is that 24 valve Cummins diesel engine. Turbo looks like it's original. It's had a new injection pump put on it, which is a common problem with these. And I put the k and air filter on there. Everything just tight as a tick. Doesn't leak any oil. Just runs absolutely awesome. We did a full synthetic oil change on it and we'll keep doing full synthetic oil changes on it. What a great truck. Get that out of there. There's your quick walk around. If you guys don't know, there's a tidbit of information I like to give at the end of each video. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Please shoot me some comments down there. Give me some help. Tell me what the heck is wrong with my Cummins. What is wrong with the drive shaft? Is it drive shaft? Is it transmission? Is it transfer case? What does it sound like to you? If you're a mechanic, let me know. Even if you're not a mechanic and you've had troubles like this before, post me a comment.